Hey there, welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. The markets are holding steady this morning. The Dow is up only about 12 points. The S&P, as you can see, is hovering with almost no change at all, and the NASDAQ is down slightly at 2.4. There has been some sector rotation out of tech and into financials now that the tax reform bill has been approved by Congress, although the House makes, needs to make one more procedural vote. The Basic Materials Index, which includes oil, gas, and energy companies, has also climbed. Shares of Halliburton and TechNip are higher today thanks to a jump in oil prices. You can see right now at $57.46 a barrel. This came after the Energy Information Administration, the EIA, reported another drop in inventories. It dropped 6.5 million barrels and that's greater than the 4.5 million that was expected. That makes five weeks of drops in a row. But the price jump wasn't as big as it could have been as gasoline stockpiles actually increased by 1.2 million barrels. Other stories that we're following, FedEx is doing pretty well this morning, up 3%. This came after the package delivery service raised its forecast, profit forecast, after beating earnings and revenue for the second quarter. Obviously, the increase in shipping demand during this holiday season is helping to boost profits. And Walmart is taking on Amazon. Again, both are down just slightly right now this morning. This time, they're taking each other on in the meal kit industry. Uh, Walmart has started selling meal kits online to compete with Amazon, as well as Blue Apron, HelloFresh, and Plated. The sales started just a couple weeks ago, and some selections are already selling out. That's it for now. Thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, and we will have more in our next report coming up in a couple of hours.